What's up everybody? Are you ready to talk about the best commuter bike in the history of the galaxy? Well, I am. Let's take a closer look. It's a little dirty right now because I'm riding it around in the sloppy winter conditions, but it's still beautiful. You're probably thinking, Ryan, why don't you clean your damn bike? It's disgusting. Well, what's the point? It's just gonna get dirty again when I go outside. It's kind of like making your bed in the morning. It's just gonna get messed up again later on in the evening. Check it out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So who am I to talk about the merits of a good commuter bike? Well, first of all, I've never owned a car in my life. I ride my bike everywhere for pretty much every reason and I've ridden lots of different brands of bicycles. And for the last few years, I've really, really enjoyed Priority Bicycles. They make top-notch, top-quality, very low-maintenance bicycles, and that is the key to a good commuter. I've had the Priority 600 for about nine months now, and it's my everyday commuter. When I first got it, I made a video review about the bike after having it for about a week. I rode it up some mountains to test out the gear ratio. I rode it off-road and in some dirt to see how it handled all of that. I loved it then, and I still love it now. First of all, I added on a rear rack to make this a true commuter powerhouse. Like I said before, I don't have a car, so this bike essentially is my car. I go grocery shopping with this bike and do all sorts of other errands. My rack is the Axiom brand rear rack. I got it right off the Priority website. I like this rack because it pushes my bags back a little bit further so my heels don't clip my bags when I pedal. Besides the rear rack, I have not added anything to this bike. Everything is stock, except for I, added, I did add a bell and a water bottle cage but let's go through some of the things that I really love about this bike. One of the most important parts on a bicycle and often overlooked is the saddle. And this WTV saddle is great and very comfortable. And I don't just ride this bike for short commuting trips, I've ridden it for three to four hours at a time and my butt is still very happy with this seat. Yeah! I really love the Dynamo front and rear lights. And these babies are powered by the hub, so they're always on day and night. And it just gives me a little peace of mind knowing that my bike is blinking and keeping me safe on the roads. It may seem silly to get excited about fenders, but I love the rear and front fenders. They've saved my booty on many a sloppy, rainy, and snowy day. I love the grips, they're very comfortable. I like the little bucket they create for your hands, so your palms don't get that achy feeling. I really like these WTB tires. They're wider than your average commuter bike tire, which is really cool because it adds stability to your ride, but there's not much rolling resistance, so they're really fast. And of course, I absolutely love the pinion gearbox and the Gates carbon belt drive. Those two things together are really the heart of this bicycle that makes it really, really special. Usually if you have a bike with a derailleur, you're gonna have to mess with it and adjust it from time to time. This thing has been rock solid from day one. Now I have ridden my bike in some seriously sloppy, snowy, frozen conditions, and I can still shift gears like a dream, like it's just a beautiful sunny day. And I've been blown away by that. I thought the freezing temperatures would affect this thing. I've ridden some other internal geared hub bikes and cold weather locks everything up, but not on this baby right here. This thing, for some reason, there's some magic going on in there. I don't know exactly what's happening, but there's definitely some magic going on here. This is actually the inside of the pinion. It's essentially a transmission like you'd see in a car because this was designed by Porsche transmission engineers and they know a thing or two about producing top-notch quality components. The snow and sloppy conditions also does not affect the Gates carbon belt drive. You don't have to lube this thing and it lasts, they say, three times longer than a regular chain and it just keeps going and going and going. 
If you know me and you watch this channel, you know that I love traveling the world by bike. I love going on bike tours. It's my favorite way to see the world. And I've been getting a lot of questions lately asking if I would take this, the Priority 600 on a tour, and the answer is yes. I'm gonna do that this spring, so stay tuned for those videos. But the reason why I would take this on a bike tour is because the gear range alone is so impressive. So they call it the 600 because it has a 600% gear change from one to 12. That means when you're in the granny gear, you can just go up the mountains with no problem and you can crank it down to 12 and you can fly going downhill or on the flats. I love the fenders for bike touring. I love the lights for bike touring. I love the comfort of this bike. It's also all aluminum, so it's not gonna rust. The carbon belt drive, everything about this bike screams, go on a bike tour. This bike gives you peace of mind. And when you're on a bike tour, the last thing you want to have happen is for things to break. And this bike just doesn't break. It is so low maintenance, and that is due mainly in part to the pinion, the carbon belt drive, and all the pieces being aluminum so nothing can rust. Here's something to consider. The bike does weigh about 31 pounds, and for a commuter, that's fairly heavy. But for a guy like me, I don't really care how much my bike weighs because I always weigh it down with groceries and cans of beans anyway. So what's a few extra pounds? Also, pinion only comes in grip shift style shifting, which isn't really my favorite, but I have gotten used to it. Another thing to remember is you cannot shift gears while you are pedaling. You have to chill out for a moment and then shift. The price of this bike might scare some people off. $2,200 for a commuter bike is kind of a lot, but when you think about it, the drivetrain alone on this thing is worth about $1,500. But if you look at $2,200 in comparison to the price of a car, this is a really good deal because a car, you have to pay for the gas and maintenance and that's thousands of dollars a year. This bike right here, you don't have to do much to it. I've had it for nine months. I haven't even had a flat tire. If you're watching this video, it probably means that you're seriously considering buying this bike. Well, I can tell you from firsthand experience that I love this thing. I've had it for nine months. I ride it every single day. I ride it hard. I ride it in all weather conditions and I've had zero problems. Well, actually, I did crash it once and I broke my grip and that's the only thing I've ever had to replace. $2,200 might seem like a lot up front, but you're paying for quality and you're barely gonna need to do anything to this bike after you buy it. So there you have it, my nine month review of the Priority 600. Stay tuned for a little bike touring adventure on this thing. And if you're new to my channel, go check it out. I have tons of bike adventure videos from all over the world. Please like and subscribe and we will see you down the road.